Hey everyone and welcome back to another one of my deck guides here. For today I have a precision strike deck for you and basically what we're doing is playing a Shiru Thunderbolt Traps deck. So we do have Thunderbolt in this deck as a way to boost Shiru and help adjust his power to destroy all units with his same power on the board that we choose to and we'll be using our leader ability uh, in this deck to also adjust Shiru's power just to give him some more consistency but yeah basically it's a traps deck so we do have Eldane in here and um, with our leader ability obviously the way it works is we get the damage unit by one we have three charges and then we're spawning Brockle on Sentinel um, on the deploy damage an enemy unit by two death blow we get to summon out the rest of the copies that we have from our deck onto the field you know what i'd say about leader ability it's really important that we get round control meaning we win the first round and just go into a long round three of this deck because getting bled is our weakest point but um you can commit leader ability in the first if you must but to set Shiru up and to make Shiru work optimally, it's probably better to save leader for the end of a match, okay? Just to help with the consistency there. So we do have the Enche Saber as a stratagem in this deck. It just allows us to spawn and play this card here, Squirtle Neophyte. Um, the benefit that we have in playing this is we are playing Scenario in this deck. So playing this um, stratagem out just allows us to activate scenario fast and get a lot of points out on the board very very quickly and we can we can transform some units they get damaged perhaps with these units and get some more points okay so now i'm going to take you guys through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card and when to play it in this deck at the bottom here you will see we have a number of bronze units as I explained with the leader ability, these Broccolon Sentinel cards, basically we just want to keep them in deck and we want them to get thinned out for when we play leader, right? So the death blow will allow us to summon all other copies from our deck. Bear that in mind, always keep these two copies in your deck. I do have one Vriad Saboteur. If we deploy this card on the melee row, we get to boost an elf in our hand by two. This is to give Shiru extra consistency. So you could play this in the first round, maybe on a dry pass, it's good too. And yeah, it's nice if you got Shiru in your hand to play it into Shiru. Just keeps him at a more consistent um, power to destroy your opponent's units. But if not, Eldane's pretty good too, isn't it? Then we have the Venosial's Commando units. Um, they're just nice engine pieces to have. They'll be boosting by one. We pretty much have all elf units. Um, so we won't have too much trouble with their condition and they are nice to take into the first round while playing our scenario card so yeah look basically to take all of these bronze units that you see here these elf units into the first round all right so use these as activators with scenario we have the bowman in here just for some consistency in activating scenario it does damage as well so it could help with setting up waylay when we're playing our scenario card out play it on the range row damage an enemy units that's on the range row for optimum damage value with this card elven swordmaster is pretty nice just gives us consistent damage per turn as we're playing elf units most likely we'll be getting a cooldown of one every time so we'll have one point of damage per turn and what i'd say is if we are going first probably the best thing to do first is drop swordmaster down on the board on the melee row because then you could use its order ability and then we can play a card like Avalak into Feign Death. Avalak is an elf so it will trigger the cooldown of this unit and then by us clicking the Anshe Saber we get to play um, another elf. So you get the idea that basically it completely resets the Swordmaster's ability in that same turn which is pretty good value. So if we are going first that's how you should play the Swordmaster. If not, don't play it like that. You basically want to play um, Avalux Sage into Feign Death or Feign Death on its own. And yeah, just keep the, the Swordmasters with you when we're going first because they help you adjust your opponent's power level so you can set up a good waylay target, okay? Then we're going to start getting into our traps here. We have two incinerating traps. The spring allows us to damage enemy unit by three. 
Um, damage to the next unit your opponent plays on their side by five. We're looking to use this more for the ambush. With the traps part of our deck as much as possible, save it for the third and final round when we're playing Eldane, just so he has a bigger payoff, okay? Crushing trap. After two turns at the end of your turn, damage all enemy units on the row with the most units by two. Crushing Trap should play pretty well in our deck because we are using Sabretooth Tiger. So the benefit in having Sabretooth Tiger is that it will, it will force your opponents to funnel their units onto one row and that could lead into a bigger Crushing Trap. So that's the synergy there that we have. Once again, you're playing these in the third and final round with Eldane. Pitfall is pretty good too. I mean, you could spring it. It does six points of damage. Maybe your opponent's got an important unit on the board and you just want to put this down, spring it right away and make sure you kill it. Um, if you know, like if you've got a good sense of your opponent's deck and you think you could tell what they're going to play next, maybe if they're going to play like a very high provision cost card at the very end of a match, you can kind of say pitfall towards the end when you think you've got the right timing for that. But if not, you know, just play it out throughout the round. Serpent Trap, you know, you could use that in a similar fashion. If you think you know the timing of your opponent's plays and they're going to play a special card, Serpent Trap will destroy the enemy unit with the highest power. Um, if not, you could just play Serpent Trap and spring it and destroy whatever's on the board with the lowest power. It's up to you how you want to play this. With Thunderbolt, we'll be playing this with Shiru. Play this in the third and final round with Shiru as much as possible. We get the boost in the allied unit by three. We've got two charges. So you could just give two charges to Shu if you really wanted, or one, probably one's going to be enough. And then the other charge you could just give to your other units, whatever we have at the time. Isengrim's pretty flexible in our deck. We could use Isengrim to ensure round control in round one. After you've played Scenario, after all your units, your elf units, the bronze ones have been played out, you can just point slam Isengrim to boost all your elf units up. So he's pretty nice just to ensure that we get that round control. Eleren will get thinned out from our deck immediately when we play Scenario, especially when we're going first with our Stratagem because we'll have so many Elf units down. If we control five or more Elves, summon this unit from your deck to your melee row. Keep in mind, just keep room in your melee row for this card to be summoned and you always want this card in your deck. You never want this card in your hand, all right? It's getting pulled out from your deck. We've got Alzul's Double Cross here. Play the highest unit from your deck. This is to give us consistency in getting Eldane, this card here, because it's going to play for a ton of points at the end of a match. You can imagine we've got all our traps laid out, then we're going to play Eldane, and they get transformed into this unit that you see here, giving us a ton of points. If not, Double Cross is also pretty good because it makes sure we get Sabretooth Tiger, which is nice. We've got Hattori in here just to create more traps. And especially nice with Hattori, he could give us a Serpent Trap and it's usually quite consistent. So go ahead and play him in the third and final round when you're playing Eldane. And here we have Shiru. Shiru's ability works by destroying self and all other units with the same power. So in some matchups, um, you may not have to adjust his power really with Leader or Thunderbolt. For example, if you come up against um, Arrakis, kind of um swarming decks with all the insectoids and um you know they're using yennefer to boost them all up maybe you'll get like a three powered uh line of units of those token insectoids and you can just play shiru like this uh, what else i would say is if you're coming up against track trap decks yourself and they're playing eldane shiru could be a very good finisher because you can imagine they got the um the tokens the three powered units they get transformed from the traps and Shiru just fits perfect for that but if not guys what we're looking to do is use Thunderbolt to boost him try to save leader ability to to damage him down to equal your your opponent's power levels and then you can just blast the board kill them all off all right that's what we're trying to do here with Shiru so yeah Shiru's a third and final round card all right as much as possible Sabretooth Tiger, we click it, it transforms into an artifact so your opponent can't deal damage to it. We're just looking to play this in the third round. It gives us points, gives us consistency with the trap theme we're using. Avalak Sage, um, this just ensures that we draw Feign Death because it's very important for us to do so. It's basically how we get all our points um, in the first round. 
just making sure we win, win our round one here. And we're playing it on the range throw, okay? This would be like the second play that you do. As I said, play Swordmaster first. So then Avalok could trigger its cooldown along with the um, Stratagem if we are going first. So yeah, if you see Avalok, I should say, um, and you got Feign Death in your hand, just you can put Feign Death away because Avalok's going to be drawing it. But he'll play very consistent in this deck anyway because as you can see, he even gives us consistency in drawing our traps later on. So you could play him like round three as well if you didn't get him in the first. Then we've got Eldane. Simply, he just transforms all our traps into three power token units. We're using him at the end of a match. Um, gives us a very good finisher. And that's what he's strictly safe for, okay? Then Feign Death, kind of points in the first. We need two elf units at least to activate the following chapters. It's pretty nice to activate the chapters with the Sword Masters, as I said, because it's ensuring that you could more consistently get a good waylay target. And on the death blow of the waylay target, we get to spawn an elven deadeye in a random row. Okay, so that's pretty nice for us. So my friends, this is the deck. Okay, just a brief um, overview of the strategy. Round one, you can go Avalak Sage into Feign Death, trigger it with your bronze units. We're looking to win round one with Feign Death, that's it. You can commit leader ability if you must to secure a round one victory because it's very important for us. What we want is just a long round three of this deck. If you win the first round, just pass the second, go into a long round three. Um, we're hoping that we thin out Eleren in the first round. Um, you could play the Saboteur in the first to boost Shiru if he's in your hand. Always keep the Sentinels in your deck. And then over the course of a long round three, guys, open up with Sabertooth Tiger, play all your traps out. At some point, when it's good to use Shiru, go ahead and use him. And as a finisher, you can use Eldain, transforming all your traps into three powered units. I hope you enjoy this list. Please share your feedback down below. And thanks for your support as always. You guys will see now. So yeah, this hand's automatically better. We've got Avalok now. So it should be good here. Crushing traps, they're not bad to keep in the first because if your opponent plays into it, usually there's a lot of um, units on the field. So it could play for good value in the first. You keep one. But we want to play all our traps in the third and just kind of save them as much as possible. Hey, what's up? How are you? Nice to see you on. Thanks for joining me here. So yeah, we're just going to jump straight into Scenario. It's the best way to do it. And we get a super quick activation now out of this stratagem, as you'll see. Yep, just go like this. Get Eleron out right away. Tons of points. Tons, tons. When, when we get a good draw, it's very solid our first round. As you saw in the last match, if we don't get a good draw, it's kind of kind of a bit sus, but we can work around it. Leader gives us the flexibility to work around like a bad first round for us. Envoy, yeah. No horse, I said. Wanted the exercise, I said. Well, I'm kind of I'm gonna go a bit overkill on the damage here, but. We need a waylay target. So I'll just spend some damage there. I feel like ST scenario should be 13 points. It's worse than Getty. Yet more expensive. Same with Ball. Okay, yeah. So you want them to drop Ball down? Ball's like 15, isn't it? Uh, yeah, let's do this. You transform Avalak as well. So yeah, this deck it requires you know a bit of thinking. You got to calculate a bit because we're trying to adjust Shiru's power to our opponent's unit's power, and we're just blasting the board. 
So Thunderbolt can help giving Shu more power at the end of a round, uh, end of a third round. Part of me. Then you got this card here. Use this on a drive pass. It's not bad if you got Shu in hand. They kind of look like they're accepting defeat a bit here. So we'll just do this. I think they're giving up the round if they're doing that. I like to play the damage order first to get some extra value from playing the stratagem. Isengrim can be used for a finisher. As you can see, he's pretty good in our scenario play here as well. But yeah, he's pretty flexible to use because we've got Eldane here. So, you know, at the end of a match, you could play him as well. It's not bad to use. Got plenty of points here first round. It's gone rid of it now. Mm. Do not test my patience. It's probably worth one leader charge, isn't it? Or would it be two, wouldn't it? Two leader charges? Hmm. What if I did a serpent trap and just rolled the dice a bit? If I play Isengrim here, they're way behind on points. So they have to consider if they really want that order as well. Maybe Isengrim. The only good human is they have to consider risking going down, I think, if they want to play that. We're way up ahead. So yeah, Isengrim's sick here, as you can see. Works really nice. <laughs> We've got 56 points here. And climbing with this. So they really want it or what? Wow, they're playing in? <laughs> Down with the mirror. They're playing into it. Nah, I'm passing. Come on, dude. <laughs> There's like 40 points, man, just to make it even on me. At least I have to spend heavy, heavy, but I, I can't see it. Yeah, I can't see it happening. No <laughs> way. <laughs> Traps are great against shield. Yeah. Well, I guess they could block some damage. Um, but yeah, they want to keep their shields for their synergies. I wonder how we should uh, play into this. Really, we want a long round. So, like, we got card advantage. Hmm. Maybe I play some units? I wanted to get, like, a card advantage, you know? Just trying to think. Okay, maybe I could get card advantage by like having this down. They play something and I kill it. And then we just pass and we just take card advantage in the long round three. It's worth it to bleed. Yeah, we got Serpent Trap. I don't know, the deck's not really built for that to be honest. I'd rather just take a card advantage. Well, we could go Serpent Trap on this. It's a pretty big Serpent Trap target. So we've got, we got Eldane, we've got Shiru and a few traps. Maybe I use Lita into this round too? Lita could be alright. Um, uh, okay, let's do this. Just thinking, maybe I'm going leader with this here. Resilience? No. 
we await the signal. Till then, don't budge. Resilience is good for them. Wow. Seven. If it didn't have shield, I, I could kill it with leader in this. Um... Yeah, they get carry over here. You're dead already. Hmm. Interesting. It's probably a pass now. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. I don't want to commit my traps too much because it's making Eldane weaker as we go. At least we wasted that from them. I mean, that's effective too. We got Defender out, so that makes our leader more accessible. It was okay, but they've got this here as well. Yeah, nice. We got Shiru. Good, good. Can we get Eldane? Uh. It's going to be risky. We missed him. We missed double cross to get Eldane and we missed Eldane. Let's go like this. Hey Rajneesh, what's up man? I'm playing some Shiru today. I'm not sure if you've played that yourself. I'm pretty sure you're heavy into monsters, but I hope you're going to like this deck when I release it. Serpent Trap, yeah. Yeah, we'll get Serpent. We could leave Shiru at the end of a match. I guess Shiru's going to be like our final play here with Thunderbolt. Yeah, doing good, thanks. Oh, it's a good Serpent Trap. <laughs> it's a very good Serpent Trap. That's great. Nice, nice. Very, very good. Yep. Very good hit. Good. Might play a bit slow. I'll go Thunderbolt now. Doesn't have another... I don't like ST's playstyle. Fair enough. That's terrible. Yeah, it was terrible for them. 100% <laughs> it was. Um... Well, let's see here. So I could go one here with leader. At least Serpent Trap, like, it's gonna play okay here. 
because they're row stacking in a sense. Yerden? Okay. Okay, well this is a pretty good kill for Shiru now, isn't it? We know they got, uh, what's his name, Rognir last, isn't it? Maybe I should kill this now, these two. Easiest kill. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll just put this away. Yeah, win conditions having many cards. We need a good shoe target, so... I think... You know, if I had one leader charge making this a two, I could blast all these. But anyway, Crushing Trap's gonna do that. I think I'm just doing this now. Oh, how lovely it works. Yeah, let's do that. That works pretty good for us. And now we kill these off, and Tiger kills whatever's left, I guess. Hmm. Yes. Boom. That's the way. Yes, baby. That was great, man. It's just that we didn't get Eldane, you know? Like, far out. Like, you can imagine, guys, if I had Eldane here popping off, it'd be great. Anyway, we're still good. Um, Maybe I could... Maybe I should go this, just to kill that off. <laughs> I feel pretty bad doing this. But yeah, I think they'd have no... Um... I mean, it makes this a bit weaker. But we probably don't want to give them any units, right? I probably could have waited on that too, eh? Uh, maybe it was better for me to wait, but anyway. They have one unit. I should have waited on that, I think. Yeah, it was good, good Shiru value, yep. One point. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, sick, sick win, man. Very happy we pulled it off. Um, yeah, we don't have to play our last card. Epic, epic, man. Beautiful. So yeah. Very happy I could show you how Shiru works with Thunderbolt there. As you can see, we can adjust. Okay, great. Well, we've got Avalok, so I could put this away. We're going to draw it out. We don't really want traps now. Yeah, it's pretty nice to go into. This is good because it gets us Eldane. We know we're going to get Eldane this match now. So it's just more Shiru, more than anything else that we have to look for. Let's get a lot of points fast. Get some sick activation going. Awesome. So there, Precision Strike 2. Uh, we'll see what style they are though. Rebuke. So, I don't know, maybe they got Gord or something like that. We're wasting Waylay here for me to play into this. But I'm going to anyway. That's what usually happens. People can play around that. As long as they got like specials, I guess. Does your leader ability damage Shiru to adjust? Yeah, for sure. You can use it like that, Horizon. Yep. <laughs> this is really unusual to see. Okay, so they got Tainted Ale in their deck. Um, Let me think. You know, they could be playing Shiru too. It damages a unit. But nah, Shiru's a 3 power. I don't think they'd use it on a Shiru. Um, they're gonna go unitless later. They're probably like a Gord unitless kind of strategy. I don't know. Painted L, yeah. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Um, in any event, we play on, my friends. Swords I smile at. Weapons last it could be. Yeah, it could be Shiru. Um, if they go on unitless and they've got that leader, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's good value for them. They could hit leader, kill our units here. That's pretty big Shiru value, yeah. 
Nice. Well done. Very good to see. So, you know, guys, I promised you a Shiru stream. You're getting it. Whether I'm winning or I'm copping the damage. <laughs> Either way, it's happening. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> you want to conquer the snow? All right, Jay. Thanks for coming on, man. This is a really interesting deck they're playing. Can you transform Avalok with the flute guy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just um, did that. It's really unusual how they're playing like this. So they're playing like back to front. How would they be playing in the first typically? Because usually it's no unit later on. Maybe they got their draws around the round around the wrong way i don't know use tiger for guaranteed points um let's just do this here Split three damage randomly between units in this row. Okay. Doing lock. Well, we could use this to transform anything that gets damaged. So if this... Well, it's a three now. We need points for later too, though. I don't know about committing Tiger here. Tiger's good for later. Thunderbolt now. Use Flute Man before he dies. What's he worth using on anyway? Yeah, probably don't need to. Well, we don't know because they're going unitless now on us. We don't know about that. Um, Let me think. Okay, I'll hit this. We'll do that. Maybe it's alright. Play into it a bit. Dragon. Okay. Yes. Serpent Trap kills that easy. <laughs> That's some bloody beautiful epic value there, yeah. Easy Serpent. That's it, my guys. <laughs> Easy money. Yeah, we pretty much got like the later combos out here. It's interesting to see. So really, we're like on 14 points because we're going to cop damage and then boost by one. Red Haze? Oh, Maddock? Really? They're going to have a hard time later on if they're Maddock, I'll tell you what. They're going to have no targets. Um, I wonder... Passing... Passing... Passing, eh? Hmm. Thunderbolt? Well, we're on 11 points. I think we're going to get something good out of him if I pass. I'll pass. I've got leader to resist the bleed, maybe. Maybe leader Thunderbolt. Maybe it's not so bad, hey? We've pushed them pretty good here. Like, we got some good things out of them. Yeah, we get leader out. Great. And Igni. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Okay, we'll have a look how they want to play into this. Oh, nice. We'll get Eldane? Okay. Anyway, I got I got double cross. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put him back. 
Double cross gets us this. No, we don't want to see you. Yes. He can pop. He can't possibly be traps. I don't think so. Um, not if it's Maddock and all that. Oh, no, we got no units. Oh, man. Guys, look at my hand. This is really unfortunate. Like, it's a beautiful hand, but we got to toss. We got to toss Tiger here, dude. I guess it makes more sense to keep Eldane over Tiger, right? Ah, that sucks, man. All right, there you go. You get a freebie from me, my friend. I'm feeling sympathetic for you after how the first round went. I'm going to give you my Tiger on a dry pass. I want to extra challenge this match to prove this deck. Let's go. Yeah, we must click this. Oh, yes! We got Shiru Baby. We are good. I, I mean, we got everything we need. All we could say is that we could have gotten this and kept Tiger. But what can you do, hey? Might as well play this out first. I'm sure this dies to like a bomb or something now. They've got matter. Yeah, that's right. Goes into Eldane, yeah. Perfect hand, pretty much, yep. I I want them to have other units on the board other than this, because this can keep coming back if it dies. So before I start getting into Pitfall and all that stuff, I might just play a bit slow here. We could, I mean, we could go Thunderbolt or Incinerating Trap's not bad either. It still guarantees us that we're killing something. Something must deploy for this. Ah, uh, they prevent damage. That's smart because it transforms. Yeah, yeah, that's good, good. Smart play by the opponent. What does Shiru do? Destroy self and all other units with the same power. So yeah, that's a smart way to use Tiger, you know, you just leave him open and if your opponent plays traps, maybe it gets some damage and then you can transform it. Got rid of a Whisperer, okay. Yep. Okay, we'll get Pitfall. I mean, they wasted their dragon in the first. They're canning a lot of cards here. Lacerate? Sure. So they got Gord as a finisher? It must be, right? Is it? Yeah, they're playing specials. Yeah, they did hit us with Shiru too. Hmm. We're hoping not to brick our own leader here, but... Yeah, we'll have to see. <laughs> he gives the Enderline Show content. <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! Oh, that was a sick kill. Oh, I love it, man. I love it. See, th they took the risk there. They did. That was mad. We violated the dragon round one. Hell yeah. That was... See, it, it, you're rolling the dice a bit when you're playing like that. You know what I mean? So, he heat waved the um, the crushing trap over the pitfall. Man, I ain't complaining. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, you should have clicked. Yep. He's just discarding everything. Spores? Uh, okay. So hold on, Eldane transforms, transform all your face up traps into Elven Dead Eyes. I think it's Eldane here.
Yeah, I'm gonna go Eldane. Okay. Allow me to play you an Eldane. All right. This guy Shiru. Ah, uh, nah, not really. I wouldn't discard Shiru. No, he still points for us. Why should we do that? Uh, so their last card's like Gord or something, yeah? Well, we're not... Yeah, leader's gone. Damage unit by one. Once all charge used up, spawn and play Broccolon. Nah, we, we got no leader here. Think we win either way. Kill your own unit. I think that's a negative point play if I kill my own unit. Um, because we're doing three damage, and then we're just getting a two point unit, and the death blow has to be the opponent's unit, not ours. Yes, yes, yes. Sick match. That was that was such a mad match, man. Good. Yes, yes. Uh huh. We get an easy Saskia kill if they play Saskia, draw something out, and they use Crystal Skull to boost it. We just kill Saskia right away with the Serpent. Yeah. Sure. Do this. Two good matches for us so far. Not bad, not bad. It's fun to play, guys. Fun to play, Shiru. He's he's very consistent the way I've built this deck too. We we'll have a good time playing him. Yes. Okay. So we could kill the Dryad. Oh, it's going to get boosted up a bit. Actually, if you discard Shiri, he wouldn't get the gore charge. To discard it? Okay. Thanks. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. Um, so they're not really boosting anything up here. With this. Let's kill that. We'll thin out Eleran. Nice. I'm pretty sure there's Saskia, right? Well, you know, <laughs> I'm conditioned to seeing Saskia so much. I see movement, I'm thinking Saskia. Maybe they didn't draw her. I don't know. Anyway, it's better for us. We got a ton of points for Scenario. It's fantastic. We even got Isengrim for a big point slam here at the end of all this. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. I'd expect as much, yep. We just play into it still like this. Got a good serpent trap if I want to use it here. It's not bad. Yes, yep. Yeah. I mean, it's it's probable that they're going to play another special, right? I think so. I've picked up another special, and then we kill the Witcher. I think they would.
Oh, they're passing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, isn't Grim? I guess he's more of a first round card for us. He's still okay here. We're saving, you know, our other better better stuff for later. It would either be that or Katori. I think I'll just go this. I'd rather save traps later. Bigger Eldane payoff. That's how strong our deck is. We could commit cards like that and we're still good for leader. We save leader here. Incinerating. That's nah, okay. I'm going to focus on getting a bigger Eldane payoff. Because this Ingram kind of is more of a first round card as well. I mean, he's flexible to use. No. Don't really want units now. So we're looking for Shiru. Avalux Sage, if we get him, he's not bad either. Because he gets us an artifact. I mean, you could use him to get Thunderbolt. Try it. Yeah. So maybe we see Saskia now. Over a long round three. Okay. Double cross. So <laughs> we don't really know what double cross is going to get us. Gets us a unit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one in three chance, exactly. Yeah, we'll roll the dice. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Why? Oh, damn it. Oh, imagine if we had Shiru here. They're doing traps and Eldane. Oh, we'd smoke it. We're really going to have to high roll it, I guess. It's going to be trap versus trap, guys. Let's see who wins. Trap v trap. Yeah, we've got a 1 in 3 chance. It's actually more than that. Wait a second. We got 1, 2, 3. Oh, so we've got 5. 5 threes. Yeah, we're going to get really lucky. If we pull Shiru. Yep. Fame not ignorant. Remember to whom you speak. Okay. Yeah, it's good for them. What do you guys think this is? Incinerating trap? Do you think it would kill my tiger? I'm guessing this incinerating trap, right? Okay. Good. So we save points there. It's basically a um, no good play for them. Nice. Yep. Good one for us. Good, good. So they're um, Eldane traps, and we didn't see Saskia. Interesting. At least this could take um, a few big traps out for us. We could just <laughs> use it as a sacrifice. <laughs> That's how we're going to play it. 
Yeah, um, Hattori's pretty good. He's just a two power unit, but he could take some trap damage. We could let him activate a few different things. Um, I don't think it matters where I'm stacking my traps, does it? Do that. Remember to always click Tiger before using Double Cross, just in case a Serpent Trap, right? Yep. <laughs> Rule number one, always click Tiger regardless when versing traps. We saw what happened to our last unfortunate friend. <laughs> Uh, that's good. Pitfall? Maybe we don't want Pitfall now. Crushing seems good. It's always bad in this matchup. This card? Okay. It's always good to see discards, isn't it? At least we're hitting targets, right? We have points here. We've got seven points, remember that. Tiger's seven. They have nothing so far. So, technically, we're in a better spot than they are. So, this could be like a Serpent Trap, potentially. Well, maybe Incinerating Trap goes off now. Tiger now? Yeah, fair enough. Okay. So I guess we're kind of even, but our Eldane's bigger here right now. Crushing trap. Hmm. When to play what? Pitfall. You guys think we can recreate our last match? I just play Pitfall now, maybe they don't click that. Maybe they think they can take more damage like the last person. I don't know. We'll see. It would be funny. It would be funny if they don't click Tiger and it kills it now. Yeah, they click it. Oh, that's a good kill. Nice. Beautiful. So, you know, as far as um same kind of deck matchups go, we're in a better spot right now, it appears. Hey Augustus, what's up? Shasso, what's up man? Happy New Year to you as well. Maybe incinerating... Incinerating is safe? Maybe? I don't know. Should I go incinerating? Because, like, it guarantees to hit a unit. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Hey, Ukroy, what's up? Thanks for the raid. Really appreciate it, brother. Hey, May Raid. Rusakov, what's up, man? What's going on? Yes, yes. Ooh, yes, we got it, we got it. Um... Thank you. 
Yeah, fortunately it's bricked for us. Just leave it like that. Yeah, very well, thanks man. Uh, nice to see you on. Thanks for all the support you always give me, appreciate it. Doing good, gonna eat my dinner. Every time you come on my stream, it's meal time, hey? <laughs> nice. Um... Ooh, so what's a good play here? Last card would be Eldane for them, right? Hmm. Tiger first, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna hit Tiger first. I don't think I'm playing my Eldane here. I'll leave that last. Oh, that's really good. We evaded that. Nice. So we got Leader, we got Eldane. Our Eldane's bigger than theirs if they have that in hand. So we should have it. Yeah, GG. Should be. 10 point Eldane. Yeah. Okay. Don't you fret about me. Can take care of myself. Oh, they got Ellerin too. Crap. Okay. Oh, no way. Guys. Draw? For real? We don't thin anything out, do we? Oh, man. Damn. It's, it's a draw. <laughs> wow, what a finish. Risk of redeem, taunt opponent. I will taunt opponent.